So hey guys, this is Vishwith and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I am going to talk about how to copy files using Python. So for example, if you have a directory filled with many files, for example, images, videos, or any kind of programming files, Python files, Java files, any kind of files, you can copy all those files and put them in a different uh, directory. So we can do that using Python. And I came to know that there is a module using which we can do it. So I'm going to share that thing with you guys. So first of all, uh, I'm going to show you what the what are the files that we are going to copy today. So we have three files that are three wallpapers, really awesome all wallpapers. And we are going to copy all these wallpapers from here to the destination folder. And I'm going to write the script in front of you only. Let me open my Visual Studio code here. Two more options. Open with code. And okay, we are here. Now let me create a file. Copy example.py. Now there is a module known as Shuttle module. I hope I'm pronouncing it correct. Shuttle uh, module using which we can copy files from one directory to another directory. So it's pretty, pretty simple. Uh, it's nothing but first of all, we need to also import the OS module. I know I have not talked about the OS module uh, much, but in the future videos, I'm going to talk about the OS module and how it works. Really, really awesome thing. And you should know if you are, if you uh, do Python. Uh, so let me show you what we can do over here with OS little bit. So for example, I have a source directory. I will define that source dir, which is nothing but S-O-U-R-C-E. You can see over here, source directory. And also I have a destination directory, dst dir equal to destination. Okay, pretty sweet. Now I'm going to list all the files that are present in the source directory. That is not that is nothing but these these wallpapers that are present over here. So I think I can also view from here like source. We have three files. So now what I need to do? Python copy example dot py enter and we can see these are the files. So what list what is list directory does it searches all the files inside this directory. Okay. And it lists them out like this. So we'll talk about this list directory briefly in the future videos. So we have all the files in this list, like the file names, I should say. Now what I need to do for file in this directory. We don't need this print thing that was there to demonstrate. For file in os.list directory, uh, shuttle dot copy, we need to give the source, not as a string, source directory, plus we need to give the directory structure that is slash plus the file name because we want to copy that particular file comma and the destination directory. I hope you are able to get this. So source directory is nothing but this directory source. And since this is a directory, we have to give a slash since we want to go inside the directory and we have to give this file. This is, not, this is nothing but the file name that are present these three wallpapers. And then we have to pass this destination directory, which is this directory. So you can give it like this. Uh, and if you do Python, I think I need to save this Python copy example.py and these files are getting copied. I mean, they already got copied from my source to the destination. Pretty sweet, pretty awesome thing. So like this, you can write one simple code to copy things from one file to another file. I mean, from one directory file structure to another file structure. Isn't that awesome? So we can do this using this subtle 
library. So there are more few cases that I'm going to talk about in the upcoming videos. So there are some exceptions that can happen. So we are going to talk about those. I hope you are able to understand how to copy files from one directory to another directory. And if you like this video, just give a like. And uh, in the upcoming videos, I'm going to show how, how to uh, handle exceptions and things. So uh, thank you for watching and I'm going to see you in the upcoming videos.